keep it going for Chip Chantry, who just got married one month ago today. Congratulations. Sorry. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell a story, and I'm gonna start off by saying that the orange man does not speak for my people. Um, so I'm a narcissist, <laughs> and uh, as it turns out, uh, uh, it's a word that gets bandied about a lot, and um, I didn't know that I was a narcissist. Like, I knew I was going to get picked because, of fucking course, I knew I was going to get picked. Uh, because I think I'm always going to be picked because I'm a narcissist. I, um, it's not that I think I'm better than everybody. I just think I'm better than everybody. Uh, <laughs> So uh, the, the, the problem with it is that it doesn't come from a place that I think that I am the greatest human being that has ever lived on the face of the earth and I shouldn't be the president of the United States. But it's more from a, it's, it's a place of insecurity. Uh, it's deep, deep-seated insecurity. I don't think I can do anything, uh, except I can do everything, but I can't is how it works. So I didn't know that I was a narcissist until my lovely wife, who was over there cowering in the corner, uh, uh, told me that I should see a, a psychiatrist or she was going to leave me immediately. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, what was I saying? Oh right, wife, crazy. Uh, turns out I'm also a borderline sociopath because I don't really understand the feelings of other human beings per se. Uh, this is all part of my diagnosis. This is less of a story and more of a confession is what I'm going for. Um, but yeah, so uh, I go to the shrink and she says, okay, you know, tell me the story. And you know, I, I told all kinds of crazy things that, you know, I, I don't really, I, I don't notice when other people feel things ever. And I also, I tend to memorize facts about people and then try and recite them back to that person like, the host got married a month ago. I know all kinds of things about the guy. And it's just, it's how I am. And I don't know how to not do it. But what I want to tell you is really the reason that I get up with, with this. So anyway, sorry, the shrink. Sorry, I got to tell the actual story part of the story. Um, so she went through and it was a checklist of the DSM-4. I think we're on. It's the, the crazy manual. Uh, and it's basically a checklist of things that make you a narcissist. And it's, it, it's me. So not only am I a narcissist, I am the narcissist. <laughs> I'm quite proud of that. Thank you. That's my wife. Uh, um, but actually, so that's the other part about it being my people. Uh, I, I'm not like part of a group of narcissists because that's impossible. Um, <laughs> it's true. Uh, like, you know, herding cats is kind of a, it's an impossibility. But um, getting a group of narcissists together is stand-up comedy. Um, it's really, really atrocious. But uh, it's really difficult to get a bunch of my people together. Uh, but. Uh, so, uh, the, the, the man in the White House currently, the orange man who does not speak for us, the motherfucker is not a narcissist. He's not. And I know you're going to say, oh, yeah, he totally is. He's full of himself. No, he's, he's a psychopath um, who literally doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. As a narcissist, we kind of, we do, it just doesn't matter as much. Like, we know the difference. Like, oh, that, I shouldn't have said that. Like, uh, my, my wife right now, who is, again, cowering, uh, said I should not even get on stage because my story doesn't have a very clear narrative. Content seven. Um, but, <laughs> but I got up anyway because I think that's fascinating. I really do. Um, but, yeah, narcissism, Trump's an idiot. And, uh, yeah, he's not a narcissist, though. He does not speak for my people. Uh, he is not the best narcissist because I am. Thank you. I'm Bob.